Okay, now we have this lesson about the measures of variability of group data. And we have the following objectives. The first one is to find the range. The second one is to find the variance. And the third one is to find the standard deviation. Okay. So, let's have the problem number one or the table one, the scores of selected grade 7 students in a 25-item test. So, we're going to find the range, the variance, and the standard division. And these are the following data. Okay, we're going to complete this table to find the range, the variance, and the standard division. On the first column, we have the given scores. We have... 23 to 25, 20 to 22, 17 to 19, 14 to 16, 11 to 13, 8 to 10. Okay, then we have the I or what we call the class interval equals 3. Okay, if we're going to count 8 to 10, we have 8, 9, 10. So we have 3 numbers. Um, while 23 to 25, we're going to count 23, 24, 25. We have also 3. Therefore, the class interval is 3. The next the frequency, we have the 5, 3, 12, 2, 8, 10. We're going to add and the answer is 40. Okay, next, to find the class mark, we're going to have um, 23 plus 25 divided by 2. So, 23 plus 25 is 48 divided by 2 equals 24 or simply you're going to find the middle value between 23 to 25 okay 20 to 22 the class mark is 21 the class mark of 17 to 19 is 18 14 to 16 is 15 11 to 13 is 12 and 8 to 10 is 9 okay the next column is f of x so meaning we're going to multiply the frequency and the class mark so we have now the first one 5 times 24 equals 120 and then 3 times 21 is 63 12 times 18 is 216 2 times 15 equals 30 and 8 times 12 equals 96 10 times 9 equals 90 then we're going to add 120 plus 63 plus 216 plus 30 plus 96 plus 90 equals 615 Okay, for the next column, we're going to subtract um, the mean from the class mark. So, we need the mean first before we uh, proceed. And this is how to find the mean or the bar x. So, we have the bar x equals the summation of f of x all over the summation of f. Where f is what we call the frequency and x is the class mark. Okay, the value of the summation of f f of x is 615 while the summation of f is 40 so all we have to do is to substitute the value of the f of x in f so we have now 615 over 40 so 615 divided by 40 the answer is 15.38 so our mean is 15.38 Again, we're going to use our mean, which is 15.38. Okay, so we have the column, the x minus the bar x. We have um, 24, which is the class mark 24, minus the mean 15.38 is 8.62. Next, 21 minus 15.38 is 5.62. Next, um, 18 minus 15.38 equals 2.62. 15 minus 15.38 is negative 0 0.38. Then 12 minus 15.38 is negative 3.38. And 9 minus 15.38 is negative 6.38. Okay, and for the next column, we're going to uh, square the x minus the mean okay we have 8.62 square is 74.30 next um 5.62 square is 31.58 next 2.62 square is 6.86 and negative 0.38 square is 0 0.14 next negative 3.38 square is 11.42 because negative multiplied by negative is positive. Then next, we have, we have negative 6.38 square is 40.70.
And for the next one, we're going to multiply the frequency times the x minus the bar x or the mean square. So we have 5 times 74.35 is the frequency. And then 5 times 74.30 is 371.5. Okay, and next we have um, the frequency 3 times... 31.58 is 94.74. Then the next one, the frequency 12 times 8, uh, 6.86 is 82.32. And the frequency 2 times 0 0.14 equals 0 0.28. And then 8 times 11.42 equals 91.36. And 10 times 40.70 equals 407. Therefore, the summation of the frequency multiplied by the x minus the mean square is 1047.2. Okay, now we have the measures of variability, which is the range. Now we're going to find the range of the data. Uh, it is equal to the upper class boundary of the highest interval minus... Um, the lower class boundary of the lowest interval. Now we consider the following scores. We, okay, now we have 8 to 10, 11 to 13, 14 to 16, 17 to 19, 20 to 22, 23 to 25. So the highest score is 25 and the lower score is 8. Or the upper limit is 25, the lower limit is 8. Okay, so again to find the range, we're going to have the upper limit which is 25 plus 0 0.5 minus the lower limit which is 8 minus 0 0.5. And then it is equal to 25 plus 0 0.5 is 25.5 minus 8 minus 0 0.5 is 7.5. Therefore, we have 25 minus 5 minus 7.5 is 8. 18. Therefore, our range is 18. Okay, so we have another measures of variability which is the variance of group data. And this is the symbol of variance. Okay, and we have the formula. It is equal to the summation of f times x minus the mean square all over the summation of f minus 1. Okay, so where f is what we call the class frequency x is class mark, bar x is class mean, summation of f is total number of frequency, okay? And then we have the following um, value. We have the summation of f times the square of the x minus the bar x equals 1047.2 and the summation of f is 14. And we're going to substitute this value. So we have 1047.2 all over 40 minus 1. Therefore, the variance is 1047.2 divided by 39 equals um, 26.85. So again, our variance is 26.85. The next one is what we call the standard deviation. To get the value of the standard deviation or S, just simply get the square root of the variance. Okay, so we have this formula. S equals the square root of the variance. Wherein our variance is 26.8. Okay, and then we have S equals the square root of 26.85. The square root of 26.85 is 5.18.